Hey y'all, Old and Gold here. Well, today's the day where I go through my box of YouTuber review subjects. German I85? Eh, he's too sus. Dark Gary? Eh, he's too cool, he'll overshadow me. Holy It's the guy who owns Sonic Jam! Scott the Waz otherwise known as Scott Wozniak or the Primeval Gamer. He seems like your typical gaming related YouTuber, just a blue border man living in a blue border world. However, after you click on that video and start watching Scott the Woz, you realize that your first assumptions were off. Yes, he does cover gaming and everything even somewhat related to it, but his videos are not simple lectures or transferals of gamer knowledge. Rather, Scott is as much a comedian and entertainer as he is a professional gamer. And through his and his friends' efforts, they've created a Scott the Waz expanded universe of characters and running jokes. Best part is, this non-gaming aspect that is so uniquely Scott the Waz is actually good, funny, and makes people happy. That's why he's the subject of this episode of YouTubers that I like, because there is no one on YouTube who does it better than Scott will eventually take a look at the first Mega Man, Wozniak. Hey y'all! 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 Therefore, many of the topics featured on the Scott the Waz channel are directly or tangentially related to Nintendo products, including his beloved Wii U. However, that is not to say that he doesn't dabble in the others as well. No console is off limits for the Waz. But the gaming topics Scott prioritizes above all, and to become the videos he is best known for, is his coverage of everything gaming adjacent under the sun. See, where the average gaming channel would cover an individual console or game in a video, Scott asks, what about gamers soap? Avoid contact with eyes. What's your stance on lips? This comes from his video on gaming related bath products, which is a very specific topic that sounds uninteresting. However, Scott's potent ability to entertain has made that video into one of my favorites. That's not a one off either. Game packaging, game rooms, game commercials, game food. All these simultaneously both niche and broad gaming topics are covered on the Scott the Waz channel and have captured millions. But why? And how? These videos don't even have Family Guy funny moments playing in the corner. How have these videos captured so many people's attention? The answer lies in what I alluded to four sentences ago. His entertaining ability. Rather than simply regurgitating Wikipedia level information, Scott incorporates rapid fire gags and jokes which delight our eternally decreasing attention spans. Coupled with some insightful factual commentary on the topic, Scott has created a near perfect balanced video format that can make even the most uninteresting topic into one of the most interesting. Now what I believe is the biggest factor that makes the Scott the Walls channel so enjoyable without going stale in its entire long run is one word, consistency. There are many attributes which I can point to that demonstrates this. However, all of those attributes can be examined through Scott's branding. Now I understand branding can be a dirty corporate word, something which reminds you of incessant ad campaigns and simplified logos, but I use that term holistically. Branding is the aspect of a company that makes it unique. In other words, its identity. See, the blue border, the desk, the running jokes, the retrospective commentary, that same carpet, and the old location wall slant. These all make up the Scott the Waz brand. Since those things are so intertwined with how good the videos are and how polished the content is, the Scott the Walls brand is synonymous with quality, and this brand has been constant for nearly the channel's entire existence. The result of this is that if you see a new Scott the Walls video in your recommended, you are going to assume that it will be good. That sort of reputation is rare and hard fought, and indicates an extensive wonderful backlog of quality Scott the Walls branded videos. That's not even mentioning my favorite part of the unique Scott the Waz branding, the channel's propensity for live action comedy bits. Now Scott the Waz does a lot of comedy skits in his videos, so much so that I like to call him Skit the Wiz. These typically involve Scott either in his own home or out in the wilds of Ohio making quick, oddly specific, absurdist jokes. Hey y'all, Scott here. 
I'm a gamer! Or may feature the appearance of any number of his personal friends, which is when you know it's going to be a good episode. That last point is also something which I think gives the Scott the Walls channel a very different atmosphere from most channels nowadays. That atmosphere is authenticity, something in very short supply nowadays. These people acting in the videos aren't other YouTubers or hired comedians, they're friends making a funny video together, which is more reminiscent of old YouTube when kids would film dumb funny skits together. I know that's something I did. Not to mention the fact that all of Scott's friends are good at tone and delivery, which makes the hilarious jokes even funnier. Their efforts have allowed the frankly impressive, extensive Scott the Waz universe of characters to really shine. I know humor is subjective, so it's difficult for me to explain why and how they do it, but it's just funny. You know other YouTubers put comedy skits in their videos, and a lot of times it's bad. I mean, who even is this guy? This is terrible. But I can't think of a single Scott the Waz skit that I didn't like. This extends to the episode-long live-action specials as well. These aren't like Nostalgia Critics The Wall. No, 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 this is cinema. I still think The Funeral is one of the funniest videos on this platform. These long comedy specials come once in a blue moon, but you can count on them being good. It's that iconic Scott the Waz consistency I was talking about. But enough of me saying how funny it is, allow me to show it to you so you can see it for yourself. Hey, didn't know you guys would make it. We had to make it, your brother didn't. How's he holding up in there? Dead. Thank God. Man, this bathtub could be more comfortable. Could use some hay. Esports are a big deal. I mean, it's all I care about. Which is why I haven't treated this wound in months. Oh God, this is gonna sound so mean. I'm sorry if this comes off as negative. This redesign fucking reeks. I didn't know it was a slur. I just thought it was an insult. Hey all, Scott here and say, have you ever been in a pickle like this? Fellas, fellas, I am so horny. I gotta hand it to you. His funeral really perked up. Turns out all people need is an attitude adjustment. This is fucking awesome. Finally, the cure for all sex, Minecraft. I made lows. All right, it's time to shoot whatever comes up. Mad Cats pulled a fast one on me. This isn't a life support machine. This was just a bread box. It may be hard to find a place to start, so might I suggest? Not bad. I'm forwarding this message to everybody in my contacts list. If you stop by tonight, we'll play. Don't lie. I've lied before and it's too fun. In conclusion, and this might come as a shock to you, but I like Scott the Waz. I can't help it. When I watch these videos, they capture a sense of entertainment I have not felt since I started watching gaming content on YouTube over a decade ago. There are few comedians and fewer YouTubers who actually make me sincerely laugh. They are people like German95, Norm MacDonald, Mitch Hedberg, and Scott the Waz. That is why, if I were ever to make a YouTuber Hall of Fame, you can bet that my favorite owner of Sonic Jam will be up there. I'm Oldegold, and this was the Util episode on... Scott the Waz. If you made it to the end of the video, please subscribe. Scott has me trapped in Ohio and he won't let me out unless you do.